welcome to the tour of our tiny house in London. This is our tiny house from the outside. Right now it's raining. That's why we cannot really show you much from the outside, but there's not that much to see anyways. There are two chairs. If we want to sit down outside in nice weather, we could. There's a tiny table, a tiny table in front of the tiny house with two tiny chairs. Also, where we're staying, there are foxes at night. I saw one fox. Yannick saw one. I think you opened the door, no? Yeah, I'll show you from the inside. Yeah. So I was opening the door to let some fresh air inside. Then I saw something running from here to over there. And I was like, what is that? And then a fox turned around and looked at me. And I was like, I was standing still. And we were just looking at each other for like five seconds. And then he kept walking. And I was in the toilet. <laughs> she was pooping. And when I came out, he told me I was so jealous. I didn't oh. get to see any foxes while we were here. Sad. Welcome to our living room slash kitchen. tiny house what's the first thing you see that mess yeah all of our jackets our gear wow and our shoes but that's just the entrance area right behind it we have a couch that's a couch that we were sitting on in our videos a couple of times and on the other side we have a TV this is what we have been watching I don't want to say it but too hot to handle <laughs> <laughs> Yannick wanted to watch Too Hot to Handle and now he's super into it. We're watching another season. You know why we're watching the second one? Because of you, not because of me. Mm, great. Well, I'm out of the equation. Okay, so here's a TV. There are a bunch of cables hanging around, sadly. <laughs> like, if they would be hidden, that would be nice. Yeah, and the TV is a very good size. Like, I like it. Yeah. Here's my working station, here's where I was working in the last four weeks. As you can see, we have two computers now. Yeah, because we were editing at the same time to be able to post every single day, which still didn't work out, sadly, but we really tried. Yeah, Yannick talked about the couch, but I wanted to show you something at the entrance still. So let's go back. Oh my yeah. gosh. They gave us these pantoflitas, it's like, house shoes and they left some ponchos here i don't think we're meant to take these ones home so we won't but they are from the queen's diamond jubilee jubilee how did they say that i don't know i took it one of the first days to the store and i left it there oh my god i was freaking out because i don't know if this is something that that they really appreciate because it's about the queen and stuff i went back the next day and it was exactly where i left it the people from the store don't clean up. <laughs> it was still there. So now come with me to our kitchen. Wow. Hey, it looks pretty cool. It looks nice. I like those white tiles. A little bit unfortunate that we only had one stove area. So we were only able to make one pot at a time. Yeah, it took us longer to, to cook. We made fajitas several times, pasta. We made drunken noodles and it always took longer. <laughs> Yeah, for pasta we always had to make the pasta first, take it off, and then make the sauce. We have a very small fridge, frigobar, we would say in Mexico. Wow. And still have a lot of things that we need to finish. Until tomorrow. In one of our videos, Joss said that she really wanted to buy Ben & Jerry's. Because it was cheap? Because it was super cheap, 250. She bought two of them at the same time, she was super proud of it. We went home, we left it here in this freezer. I'm gonna show you how it looks. What's wrong? <laughs> mm, there's no door. There's no door. So now, look at this. Oh man, I had to finish one of those in a day because I didn't want it to go to waste. And the <laughs> other one is there and I read online that I cannot eat it anymore. That's it. That's our sad story. Apart from that, I mean, it was enough for what we needed in the four weeks. We have some plates, some cutlery, yeah. some pots. They gave us this. Oh, we have to, maybe we should drink it tonight. Prosecco. They gave it to us, uh, the hosts. Yeah, and here's the most important part of any kitchen in London. The microwave. Yes. And we've actually used it so many times because of all the pre-cooked meals that we can buy in the supermarket here. I really like it. I'm gonna miss the pre-cooked meals a little bit. Yeah, there's one thing that's missing here in this living room area, and that's a couch table. Like, I just wanna sit here, watch 
too hot to handle. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a table here so I can eat while watching TV. So we actually took the table, which is here at the wall. That's such a weird placement for a table, I feel. Yeah, so we took this table and put it in front of the couch. Then right now we put it back the way it was when we arrived. But, but it would have been weird. It's also not that comfy, I guess. No, we would be too far away from each other and right in front of the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Someone came just out of the bathroom. It smells horribly. Hey. And we're like... <laughs> Great. Look, something very helpful is that we had a washer for our clothes right in the kitchen. Yeah, that was awesome. We used it like three times. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you want to show them the bathroom? Yes. Follow me to the loo. Here's where the magic happens. Yeah. It's kind of small, but it was very nice. Here we have our shower. Then we have our shampoo bar. Yeah, those bottles of shampoo obviously are not ours. They were here already from the hosts. But we have our shampoo bar, some other product that we cannot reveal yet. <laughs> By the way, if you want a shampoo bar that's very good quality, check out the description. Here we have a tiny sink. Oops. It's actually... <laughs> it's actually tiny. I feel like with every year, sinks are built differently because I feel like the tap is built even closer to the edge. So now, it's so close that when I wash my hands here, the water goes everywhere onto the floor and it's, it's, it's weird. Bye bye. Gosh. You know, something that I find very weird about bathrooms here in the UK is that they have this outlet, which is different than all the other outlets that they use here in this country. And it says shavers only. Why only shavers there? So after showering, we wanted to dry our hair, which has this. Yeah, the British outlet. And like, <laughs> it doesn't work. No, obviously not. You always. I don't know why that's the case. Also in the castle where we stayed, it was the same. Like, it's what's weird. the point? The shower is pretty cool. It's kind of electrical. So you just have to press a button and then the water comes down. And then depending on how hot or how cold you want it, you press one of those two buttons too. Pretty modern, mate. Let's check out the bedroom. Oh, where the magic happens. bigger than your bed in Mexico. Yeah, that's true. Look, you fit fully. The bed was pretty comfy and we have a huge mirror, which is super helpful before we leave. We're always checking ourselves out. Here's where we usually dry our hair because in the bathroom we cannot do it. We had a closet that we barely used and that's it. Sweet yeah. dreams. Sweet dreams. Look, our heaters are pretty interesting. They're electrical and here you can just set up the temperature you want it to be inside. Yeah. They're pretty good. And our view is quite nice. Wow. Oh, you can probably not see anything. Look at that. Wow. Awesome. When it snowed, it looked so magical. Everything looked white. Yeah, it looked very good. And right now it's just raining and all the snow is melting. Smooshy. Sad. Look at that, just feels super fancy now because she got a Christian Dior bag, an original one. That's not the point of the video. <laughs> so we stayed here for a month and we paid, drum roll, oh no. 1,755 euros. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God, it hurts. It hurts like when we booked it. In pounds, it's around 1,500. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe. <laughs> Watch all the ads. <laughs> but I have to say, I think for London, that was a very good deal. Mm -hmm. Especially because we're not in an apartment, in a small apartment where you have to be quiet, where you have neighbors, but this is our space. It's all ours. We could sing, we can dance. Mm -hmm. So that was awesome. Let us know how much you pay for an apartment in London in the comments. Yeah, so this was our little nest of love for a month here in London. It's a tiny house. Literally, it's tiny. <laughs> yeah. But it was kind of a fine. It was very cute. We were very comfortable here. I'll probably come back here again if I get enough money to pay for it. <laughs>
The only reason why we showed you this house today is because we cleaned up for the last three hours. Yeah, <laughs> we've been cleaning up because we had a mess. Yeah, that's it. Like and subscribe. And let us know if you like these type of house tours when we go around the world for a month. Bye. Brilliant, isn't it?